Synth Radio FM 98.4 Have a neon day, my friends. I don't know why, but today I'm just in a good mood. Maybe because of you guys, although I'm not really sure how many of you are listening. Seriously, how many of you are still alive? If someone is out there, please call us. Please. I've heard that the Steel Pants Radio receives a lot more colors and we want to beat them if we can... So please hurry up. Oh, what is this, a color? Hello sir, how are you doing? Hey, I'm Shane from Steel Pants, you know, I had it with you guys always mocking us, please cut it out, okay? I'm Shane too, why do you pick the same name as me? How unoriginal. Shut up you little pansy or I find you and beat you to a pulp. See, this is why our radio is much more friendly than you. You rockers are so aggressive. How rude. Whatever, bye now, you little moron. Neon Synth Radio. We don't care about steel pants. FM 98.4.
this radio station. If you're an ugly person without style, please turn out to be your napkin. Sexy radio. You have to look good while you're listening to us. If not, then make like a tree and get out of here. Radio FM 98.4. You know, last night I was out shopping. It was easy because the shop is abandoned. <laughs> And I bought myself some new pants. No, not steel ones, but tight, hot ones. And they are hot, my man. They make my butt look like shiny, healthy, round apples, you know. Hey, you steel pants guy, bite me. Jennifer, will you stop looking at my ass, please, and play the next song? <coughs> so, next song, coming up.
This is Neon Sexy Synth Radio. <laughs> Sorry guys, it is me Shane. We just cannot feel pain. Because I am happy my friends. I am happy because I look good. I have a nice ass and I have a beauty that lasts forever, you know. A lot of nice cool songs coming up. But first, let me talk to you guys about feeling sexy in this harsh environment. You know, just because it is the past apocalyptic wasteland, you know, we don't have to look like shit that falls out of our asses. Well, if it falls out of my ass, it's good because my ass is sexy, you know. Don't forget to press B to poop out of your sexy, nasty ass. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I didn't want to talk about pooping. No, 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 pooping is gross. I wanted to talk about pooping in foreign places, you know, pooping at your girlfriend's house, pooping at your grandpa's house, but I mean, seriously, who is a grandpa these days? Speaking about pooping, do girls really not poop? I mean, I don't really care that much because of the girls, you know, but, you know, I cannot really talk about this maybe in the future. But do they fart? Seriously, girls, do you girls fart? Okay, sorry Jennifer, I stopped. Okay, next song. Neon Synth Radio. The radio where even pooping is sexy. FM 98.4. <laughs> as hot as me, my friends. Well, not really. I am much, much hotter than that. Last week, we had a caller that said I sound like the guy from that shitty steel pants radio, but seriously, how can you say something like that? I mean, that dude is a douchebag and he has serious personality disorders or bipolar or bisexual stuff or I don't know. And he even works alone because everyone hates him. I have so much co-workers and he has, guess what, none. Neon Synth Radio, FM 98.4. 
Some weather forecast for you guys. Mostly the weather will be sunny. Just like my life and yours. Let's make it even better with one of my favorite songs. Jennifer, hit it. Neasynth Radio, FM 98.4.
that more than 90% of the population died, including women? I, I guess so. Do you miss your wife? Um, no. We introduce the Rubber Wife 2000. Whoa, it looks exactly like my wife did. Of course it does, and it feels like your wife too. Say, what? How do you know that? The Rubber Woman 2000 comes in all shapes and sizes. You only got half the price? No problem, we can sell you half the wife. What? That's right, you heard it. If you only have the money for half a rubber wife, we give you half. We give you one without legs. Order now. With the new rubber technology, your rubber wife feels just like your real one did. No talking, no arguing, and her head never hurts. Give it a try. Say your wooden wife a big goodbye. Whoa, it really feels like my old wife did. Of course it does. Rubber Wife 2000, coming in stores near you. Um, do you have any stores near you? No? Well, you can order one through the phone also. Rubber Wife 2000, watch out for the cacti. I'm Shane and this is Nian Sin. So good to be here, so good to live here. Well, I don't tell you, I am sure you would like to know my address and get to know me, but can't do that, honey. I heard about this Giuseppe guy that confused the Hungarian sausage with an Italian, but man, honestly, I don't care. That man is oh, so sexy, my god, that voice. If that voice had an ass, it would be sexy as hell. He could confuse my sausage with any other country's sausage, and I would love it. Nia Sim Radio, we like the ass of your voice.
have a shiny, sandy and windy and neon like day, my friends. This is Neon Synth Radio, FM 98.4. You know, today coming to work I saw a mother with one of those weird looking nasty European cars that needs oil in the gas tank, I guess. I tried to help her, but when she looked at me I noticed that she had three eyes. Seriously, people these days. Looking at me like that, I just I just had to run away. But you cannot run away from good music, because our next song is one of my favorites. Come and taste it.
about going shopping today when I realized all of my favorite shoes went down a while ago. I was hungry and I thought to myself, wow, I need a Vegemite sandwich. Then I realized I'm not in a food. Oh well, back to eating some bugs. Bye my friends, lots of bugs. I'm Shane and this is Nia Sin. So good to be here, so good to live here. Well, I don't tell you, I am sure you would like to know my address and get to know me, but can't do that, honey. I heard about this Giuseppe guy that confused the Hungarian sausage with an Italian, but man, honestly, I don't. so composedly now in my bed that any beholder might fancy me dead my start at beholding me thinking me dead the moaning and groaning and sighing and sobbing are quieted now with that horrible throbbing at heart ah oh, that horrible horrible throbbing the sickness the nausea the pitiless pain have seized with the fever that maddened my brain, with the fever called living that burned in my brain. And oh, of all tortures that torture the worst, has abated the terrible torture of thirst, for the naphthalene river of passion accursed, I have drunk of a water that quenches all thirst, of a water that flows with a lullaby sound, from a spring but a very few feet underground, from a cavern not very far down underground. And ah, oh, let it never be foolishly said, that my room it is gloomy and narrow my bed, for man never slept in a different bed, and to sleep you must slumber in just such a bed. My tantalized spirit here blandly reposes, forgetting or never regretting its roses, its old agitations of myrtles and roses. For now, while so quietly lying it fancies, a holier odor, a body of pansies, a rosemary odor, commingled with pansies, with rue and the beautiful Puritan pansies. And so it lies happily, bathing in many 
a dream of the truth and the beauty of Annie, drowned in a bath of the tresses of Annie. She tenderly kissed me, she fondly caressed, and then I fell gently to sleep on her breasts, deeply to sleep from the heaven of her breasts. When the light was extinguished, she covered me warm, and she prayed to the angels to keep me from harm, to the queen of the angels to shield me from harm. And I lie so composedly now in my bed, knowing her love, that you fancy me dead. And I rest so contentedly now in my bed, with her love at my breast, that you fancy me dead, that you shudder to look at me, thinking me dead. But my heart is brighter than all of the many, Stars in the sky for it sparkles with Annie. It glows with the light of the love of my Annie. With the thought of the light of the eyes of my Annie. Ah, what a nice poem that was, my friends. Nothing better than driving, looking at your window, watching the dead desert and the emptiness. And thinking about what exactly happened to this world. Well, what did happen? We maybe never know, but we know one thing, and one thing only. A good poem always helps through the day. Here is another one, just for you my surviving friends who are out there. Drink a little coffee, and don't think about that the world is dead now. Fill it up with your colorful thoughts. Southern Girl by Madison Julius Cavain Serious but smiling, stately and serene, and dreamier than a flower, a girl in whom all sympathies contain, as perfume as in a bottle, through whom one feels my soul and heart may need, and their resistless power, eyes that commune with the frank skies of truth, where a thought like This is Point Chill Radio on 100.5. Ah, what a nice day, my friends. Reading poems, talking to you guys. Seriously, I think our radio station is the best one. You know, why all the loud, angry music? Why all the noise? Why all the nasty jokes and uninteresting topics on other radios? Like... What is that radio station called again? Yeah, chat till you die. I mean, how can you name your radio station like that? Who gives a name to a radio station like that? I mean, the name is so dark and has the word death in it, you know. This is just not fine. But what is fine is a nice cup of Sea Keef Cafe. <sighs> okay, let's see our Next poem. For N by Edgar Allan Poe. Thank heaven the crisis, the danger is past, and the lingering illness is over at last, and the fever called living is conquered at last. Sadly, I know I am shorn of my strength. And no muscle I move as I lie at full length. But no matter, I feel.
feel I am better at length. And I rest so composedly now in my bed, that any beholder might fancy me dead, might start at beholding me thinking me dead, the moaning and groaning and sighing and sobbing are quieted now with that horrible throbbing at heart, ah that horrible horrible throbbing, the sickness, the nausea, the pitiless pain have ceased with the fever that maddened my brain, with the fever called living that burned in my brain. And oh, of all tortures that tortured the worst, has abated the terrible torture of thirst, for the naphthalene river of passion accursed, I have drunk of a water that quenches all thirst, of a water that flows with a lullaby sound, a spring but a very few feet underground, from a cavern not very far down underground. And oh, let it never be foolishly said, that my room it is gloomy and narrow my bed, for man never slept in a different bed, and to sleep you must slumber in just such a bed. My tantalized spirit here blandly reposes, forgetting or never regretting its roses, its old agitations of myrtles and roses, for now while so quietly lying it fancies, a holier odor, a body of pansies, a rosemary odor, commingled with pansies, with you and the beautiful Puritan pansies. And so it lies happily, bathing in many, a dream of the truth and the beauty of any, drowned in a bath of the tresses of any. She tenderly kissed me, she fondly caressed, and then I fell gently to sleep on her breasts, deeply to sleep from the heaven of her breasts. When the light was extinguished, she covered me warm, and she prayed to the angels to keep me from harm, to the queen of the angels to shield me from harm. And I lie so composedly now in my bed, knowing her love, that you fancy me dead. And I rest so contentedly now in my bed, with her love at my breast, that you fancy me dead that you shudder to look at me thinking me dead. But my heart is brighter than all of the many, stars in the sky for it sparkles with any. It glows with the light of the love of my any, with the thought of the light of the eyes of my any. Hey, all there, you nice people. I hope you're having a nice long drive. The road is yours. Take it. There is hardly anyone out there. Watch out for those nasty hornets, though. They can grow quite big. But let us all calm down with a nice poem. This is Poem Chill Radio on 100.5. 100.5 Dreaming by Abram Joseph Ryan The moan of a wintry soul Melted into a summer song And the words like the waveless roll Flowed far and away, like the voice of a half sleeping rill, each wave of it lit by a ray, but the sound was so soft and so still, and the tone was so gentle and low, none heard the song till it had passed, till the echo that followed its flow came dreamingly back from the past. It was too late, a song never returns, that passes our pathway unheard, as dust lying dreaming in urns, is the song lying dead in a bird. For the birds of the skies have a nest, 
and the winds have a home where they sleep, and songs like our souls need a rest, where they murmur the while we may weep. But songs like the birds over the foam, where the storm wind is beating their breast, fly shoreward and oft find a home in the shelter of birds where they rest. the sky and the open road. I hear the bees make music. Hands on the wheel. I'm only here. Bullet. Take care when your eyes are closed. Just breathe and smell the air. I'm on the road train Feeling so glorious I am the freedom I am the speed Nobody touch the river Cause I'm the only who truly Elizabeth Dickinson A narrow fellow in the grass Occasionally rides You may have met him Did you not? His notice sudden is The grass divides as with a calm A spotted shaft is seen And then it closes at your feet And opens further on He likes a boggy acre A floor to cool for corn Yet when a child and barefoot I am more than once at morn. Half past, I thought, a whiplash of braiding in the sun, when stopping to secure it, it wrinkled and was gone. Several of nature's people I know, and they know me. I feel for them a transport of cordiality. But never met this fellow, attended or alone, without a tire of breathing and zero at the bone. Looking at your window, watching the dead desert and the emptiness, and thinking about what exactly happened to this world. Well, what did happen? We maybe never know, but we know one thing and one thing only. A good poem always helps through the day. Here is another one, just for you my surviving friends who are out there. Drink a little coffee and don't think about that the world is dead now. 
Fill it up with your colorful thoughts.
as perfumes in a bar, to whom one feels what soul and heart may mean, and their resistless power, eyes that commune with the frank skies of truth, where thought like starlight curls, lips of immortal rose where love and youth nestle like two sweet pearls. Hair that suggests the Bible braids of truth deeper than any girl's. When first I saw you, it was as if within my soul took shape some song played by a master of the violin, a music pure and strong that wrapped my soul above all earthly sin to hates that no. This is Boom Chill Radio on 100.5. Ah, this is a real nice coffee. We here at Boom Chill Radio use the magnificent cafe brand, the Sea Keef Cafe. It is the most tasty cafe ever. Especially tasty if you are reading a nice book, you know, reading poems making love to your rubber wife or your wooden wife if you are old-fashioned like me. Talking about old-fashioned, we have lots and lots of old poems we can read for you because these have no copyright protection on them. So if you are home with your wife, be it rubber, wood or a real one if you are the luckiest man on earth, or if you are driving in a past apocalyptic desert in your choda your Tarbans or Faltenberger. Just sit back, relax, grab a cup of feces, I mean Sea Keef Cafe, and join us. For Annie by Edgar Allan Poe Thank heaven the crisis, the danger is past, and the lingering illness is over at last, and the fever Übermensch Radio. Diese Radio ist der einzige Radio, das die Ende der Welt überlebt hat. Aber wir haben noch kein... Hypocrites. My God, where do I even start with these bastards? And what always bugs my mind, hypocrites know they are hypocrites. Did ever just one of them admit it to being one? Well, that goes for all the other things too, you know, stuff like when you say, he's an idiot, and when you say, hey, George is a dumb guy, does George know he is a dumb guy? Did ever just one person on earth acknowledge or admit that he's one of the above mentioned? I think not. But this is a topic for another time, let's talk about hypocrites. Do any of you uneducated survivors know what that even means? Chances are, if you don't know what a hypocrite is, you are one. Oh, and by the way, by educated, I mean you can educate yourself at home too. Read some freaking books, look around, sit down, think, use your brain, that's what it's for, my man, or my woman. Well, I don't have any women, I don't like them, and I tell you why. They are also hypocrites. And I'm being honest, it is scientifically proven that more women are hypocrites than men. But that is an evolutionary reason, they have much higher expectations to live up to. And when they cannot live up to these aforementioned expectations, they pretend to live up to them, thus making them hypocrites. They become hypocrites. Like weird-ass creatures transforming in the night under the moonlight. But let us not stray away from our main topic. Let me, angry Greg, educate you a bit. So hypocrisy is basically saying stuff and then not doing that stuff. Like preaching about eating healthy. 
Then you go home and eat the most unhealthy food you can just hope to find in your fridge. Pretending to be faithful and saying nasty things about people who have sex with a lot of people, then going home and spreading your legs for the post guy or the milkman. Or if you're a guy, telling everyone that you love your wife. And you tell everyone that all the other guys are dumb for thinking with their penises and then, you know, you go out of town and you're putting your pee-pee into various women in various ways. So actually, you are doing the exact opposite of what you are saying because you want to see, you want to be seen in a good light in the eyes of other people. And this is an interesting thing also. Why do most people want to be seen as a good guy with a good life, a good wife? Come on, just admit it. You're